Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, we're going to look at the new sneak peek that Blizzard has just posted about on Twitter for the Chimera unit, as well as these two new emotes and bug fixes and optimizations. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, the new troop is Chimera, as you can see on the screen here. We have two new emotes, the Fadeaway emote and the Icy Drip emote. I'm going to guess that one of those is from the War Chest in your guild, while the other one is going to be from PvP rewards, just like last time. Bug fixes and optimizations. We've already made a video uh, on nerfs and balances. I don't know what bugs could potentially be fixed. There's quite a few bugs with the Onyxia fight at the moment, so maybe that's some of the things they're going to touch up on. And then always here for more optimization. So, how can we expect to get Chimera? Well, if it's anything like Sylvanas, he'll be available as a guild reward, as well as PvP rewards, and as a bundle in the shop. Now, he probably won't be available in the grid, just like Sylvanas wasn't. Uh, however, he is a unit, so it's quite possible that he will be in the grid. Sylvanas wasn't because she was an undead leader, and it was not undead week, so maybe we'll have the option of buying this guy in the grid as well. We'll just have to wait and see. But, Blizzard has released a video of this unit, and I just wanted to view it and we will talk about it as it plays. It's only 40 seconds, so it won't take too terribly long. So let's go ahead and do that. A new terror reigns, okay? Across the skies in Season 2. We have a Chimera. Awesome. Ooh, so we can see there that it cost 5 gold when we deployed it, so we know it's a 5 gold cost unit, so that's interesting. And there's a Poison Spit and a Ball of Lightning that looks like it chained, so a Chain Lightning attack. Okay, let's rewind that real quick. So, we've got two different heads, which we thought they were independent, or not independent, that they rotated which one would attack, but it looks like it casts the poison while also casting the chain lightning. Let's look at that real quick. Maybe that's not what that was, but I'm curious to know if the heads take turns attacking or if they're independent of each other. I guess we'll find out. Okay, poison blob there, and lightning uh, to the vultures. This isn't confirmed, but it looks like the poison attack is probably a bombard attack, so it may only hit ground units, but the chain lightning looks like it can hit anything, so that's that's pretty good. Ooh, we have talents. Okay, we can see he's in the beast family here, and he costs 5 gold. So, Leviathan. Gain 10% additional health per deploy. Um, Blizzard has not been fantastic with their talent descriptions, so this may be just speculation, but I would bet that this caps out at three, just like Hogger's uh, leader ability does. So we'll just have to wait and see. So it's called Leviathan. Okay, it looks like he's pretty squishy. It looks like he's taken two hits from this hunter and is just above half, uh, half health while also being three levels above the hunter. So we'll have to find out how tanky he really is. It looks like he's doing good damage to them, to the footman. Next talent is Frost Shock. Lightning Ball applies Frost on hit. Um, frost is pretty good. Um, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. It's probably a pretty safe pick. Nice, not too bad. It looks like he's pretty slow. I don't know if you saw that flying speed as he was flying away, but he looks to be slow. And then Corrosive Breath is his last talent, where Poison Split inflicts twice as much poison. Uh, that's not bad. We'll have to see what his attack speed is, but that could be pretty... Uh, pretty solid. So it won't do double damage, but you'll get double the poison stacks, which is nice. Awesome. It looks like his attack speed is relatively slow for each head, but you have two of them. And this says available December 10th, 2023. All right. It's a pretty good video. Let's talk about what you might want to do with him. So far in this game, five and six gold costumes don't have the best track record of being good. Uh, however, Huntress is an exception. I would probably put money on Chimera also being one of those exceptions. He seems like he's going to have a very good spot in different archetypes. So where might the Chimera be useful? Well, currently there's a strong Jaina deck that runs Drake uh, to spawn Welp Eggs and protect it with Holy Nova. Um, you know, Chimera can't spawn Welp Eggs, but it might take the spot of Drake in this deck where you can play it as your flyer to control the bridges or different gold control gold points on the map and support it with holy nova the same way you support drake um kind of like a dracosath is supported by a shaman that may work uh you might be able to 
support the Chimera with a Shaman. It might be good enough that Chimera can be your your one-man death ball and everything else could support it. That might be how it works. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how strong he actually is. In the video, it looked like he was kind of squishy, so we'll just have to wait and see. As far as his talents go, I would imagine all three of them are probably pretty solid. I think the double poison damage may be more of a PvE talent, just because if his poison, which it looks like it will be, uh, is, uh, is bombard damage, he won't be able to hit everything in PvP with it. So he'll probably be very useful on some maps with that talent. The Applying Frost talent looks fine. I don't think it's amazingly strong, but it's probably better than the Poison one for just an all-around scenario. But my eye is on the 10% health one. This is subject to change just because we don't know how much health he actually has. Um, so it might not actually give him a boost and it probably has a cap on it too that we won't know until we actually get to play him but i think giving him the extra percentage health every time you play him just makes him more of a uh, carry unit and replaces drake in this deck maybe it doesn't but once again we're just gonna have to play with him and see with that said shaman is probably good with him it is nine gold and you know, it's it's kind of expensive, but if the unit is strong enough that he can be his own death ball with Shaman, then it may be worth playing. We've had a lot of, like, uh, Footman death ball builds and Dracosath, two-man army type builds, but none of them have been flyers yet, so I'm interested to see what a death ball can do when it is a flying unit. So, I am so excited to play with Chimera. I know a lot of other people are too, and I hope that everyone has a chance to to utilize him and gets to play with him soon. Sunday can't come soon enough. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. And until next time, bye. Real quick, I just forgot to add, there is someone by the name of BlueMax586 that is now making YouTube content that is part of my guild. Um, if you want to check out his channel, I'll have it uh, linked in the description below. He makes YouTube videos. He also streams on Twitch. So go ahead and check him out. Uh, he makes Good, or he will be making good content. Uh, I've got faith that he'll be a good one to follow. Also, there's another person named 8, you for dinner. 8, like the number, you, just one letter, and then for dinner. He's also a guildie. He streams on YouTube and Twitch, and I don't believe he's making YouTube content yet, just streaming, but he is progressing through on Nixia right now, uh, so he'll be fun to watch as well. Just wanted to give them a quick shout out. So, there you go.